Okay, thanks, Cam, and welcome back to Pichia. I have here with me Mr. James Klein. He is co-owner and wide receiver for the Queen City Corsairs. And James, thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, you know, this last game, you know, you, you, you're my friend, but we had to. <laughs> hey, you went off. <laughs> well, you know, um, far and few between, you know, but we, we, we're working on it. We're working on it. But tell me. Um, what do you think that your what do you think that Queen City could have done um a little bit better to change the outcome of the game? Uh to be honest, uh Arizona in my opinion is one of the top teams. Uh basically we had to I mean, you guys can run the ball, you can pass the ball, uh, which you did both against us. So we had probably had to pick our poison, but you know, our, our our defense is young. We've got a bunch of rook, rookies. I think we got eight rookies on the defensive side of the ball. So it was a tall task. Uh, I think we just tried to, to minimize the damage. And, and our offense, I, I feel, is one of the top offenses in, in the league. So if we could have kept pace with you guys, we may have had a shot. But that just didn't happen. Understood. Well, Looking forward to seeing what corrections you guys make on the field next week. And good luck, James. Thank you. All right. Back to you guys in the booth. All right, everybody. Welcome back to PGI. And we have Mr. Doug Day. He is the GM and he is a good friend as well as strong safety for Seattle Nemesis. Man. Doug. I mean, with thir it was 35, 35, three seconds left in the fourth quarter, and Indianapolis won with a walk-off field goal, man. And uh, I, we, you know, as, as an Arizona Scorpion, we have been victim of, of that, you know, a couple times. But tell me, what could Seattle have done differently to actually pull out that win? Um, actually, I, I really don't think there was much more that we could have done. I mean, we we struggled week one, week two. We put some stuff together. Um, David Harrell, our OC, put together a great playbook for Indy. Our defense was there. But it was just, there was just, you know, the the bad breaks. You know, like every sports sports teams, you know, they go through. <clears throat> um, Indy came out, put it, put together a great, great playbook, great plan. Um, I think next time we go to Indy, though, I don't think we're going to go out with Ernest McRae and Bryant James because I think they took us to some hot spots that, you know, kind of got us a little tipsy and we had a little few drinks. Got it. <laughs> got it. See, that's that's how you <laughs> wait to after the game for that. See? <laughs> But no, I mean, it was a great, it was a, it was a great fight. I mean, it was, it was left and right up and down, you know? So it was, uh, it was a good, it was a good one. Indeed. Uh, Chad, was. Chad and Adam definitely knew we were coming. So. <laughs> uh, Indeed it I, was. And you guys and then, are different. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You guys are definitely playing um, a different caliber, you know, as a as a different team now. Progressions of in, and I could see the difference in in what you guys are doing on the field. So, yeah. e eventually, you guys will be a force to be reckoned with. And I wish y'all the best of luck. All right. All righty. All right. Back to you in the booth. What is up, SFL Nation? Welcome to PGI. And I have my good friend here with me, Mr. Justin Reside, the man for everything stats-wise. I think he does more stats than anybody. Um, but he's also the GM as well as free safety for the Las Vegas Fury. So, Justin, tell me, what is the general vibe of the coaches and your locker room at this moment considering the loss uh, to London, and what do you think needs to change? Yeah, it's been really rough the past 24 hours since we came back from across the pond and our coaches and players are kind of disappointed we didn't get the win against London but now we can just change everything what we need to change and get ready for Ed Dave Axis and the San Diego Mavericks next week. Indeed what do you think you guys need to do the one thing that you think you need to do? 
obviously we have to s- make sure that high flying offense gets stopped by our, by me, Max, and obviously me, Max, and everybody else in the free safeties in the in the free safeties and cornerback spots. So because because those guys can be high powered, very high powered offense like they showed yesterday against Motor City. Right. Right. Well. Good luck to you guys, and uh, can't wait to see you guys on the field. <laughs> Back to you in the booth, Cam and Polly.